Right. It's 5 a.m. At least almost 6. Hope everyone's having a nice day today. Right now, our destination is Palo. Palo later. Um, we're about to go on a little bit of a, well, one would say history trip. So, good luck to us, I guess. It's my first vlog. It's kind of embarrassing, though. Building in front of everything. I don't know. It's more like something akin to stage fright, I guess. We'll see, we'll see. Well, thank God for transitions, I guess. But we, it, I guess it took like 30 minutes to two hours of waiting just to get a bus. Now, ev now for those who, who are still watching, <laughs> the first tourist destination that we are going to is, well, not going to be as exciting as the second one or the third one, but... It, it's still one of the tourist spots here in Leyte, so I think I'm responsible for to show it to you guys. Before I go to the final two surprises, here is the monument that depicts the Boy Scouts of the Philippines. I believe this is the second one here in, in Leyte. It depicts and honors how the Boy Scouts of the Philippines who are willing to create and work towards a better future. Now, I know this is a minor monument here in Leyte, but I believe that we should still honor these kinds of monuments since they are a representation of the best that we have to offer as a country now uh, moving forward to again this is just a appetizer for what's to come now i think it's probably time na ipakilala ko sa inyo si Artor by <laughs> Artor i mean really papakilala ko sa inyo yung special guest natin natin I mean, <laughs> so vlog ngayon si General Arthur so tara guys cuz it's getting really hot now <laughs> ang social naman pakinggan anyways let's go so following the themes na nakita nakita natin kanina sa Boy Scout monument we'll be going to the place or a monument na na describe or nag start ng freedom sa Pinas at least during World War II So like I said <laughs> I am going to introduce you to Arthur and Char I mean General MacArthur right there I don't know if he's quite visible or not anyways this is a monument to his return, marking the end of the Japanese colonization here in the Philippines. And marking the end of the Japanese colonization here in the Philippines, liberating us from well, their tyranny, I guess. This was during World War II, I think near its end. And this is the exact place in which his men arrived. I don't know if it was that epic looking. I mean, this historical landmark right here is actually even younger than me. Yes, by two years. Kubiyam mo ako Arthur, sir. But so, anyways, since while we're here, why I think we should visit a spot here in uh, 
MacArthur Monument. So this is, I believe, a sign or a well proof or evidence that uh, the nations have gathered here to proclaim peace upon our country, a declaration of peace and forgiveness. I think with multiple countries here. Uh, including Australia, um, I think there was Japan, especially Japan, hopefully, <laughs> uh, China, and more others. But uh, if you can see, guys, this isn't in the best shape, honestly. Uh, I believe that this site has been slowly degrading over the years, and it's quite a shame, honestly really a shame hopefully they fix this by the next lady landing uh, this is just this place right? a sign of peace slowly corroding it's iron ironic even you have to admit anyways we're going back to the club and to finish this vlog <sighs> Ang init sa Pinas. Anyways, we're back in Tacloban now. Uh, I think uh, continuing for the uh, theme that we had with MacArthur and uh, Scout Monument, we should find some place that should represent something like change or... And I think I just have the place. So... Anyways, uh, this location is somewhat really popular amongst young people, especially people with dates. Especially people with dates. <laughs> it has a sort of a stigma because of it. I welcome you all to the Madonna of Japan. This is... The Madonna of Japan, a symbol of peace between the people of the Philippines and the people of Japan. Though it has seemingly degraded over the years, like what happened in how do you call this? What happened in Lady Landing? This is still one of the most historical places in Tacloban. <laughs> 